Hello and welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. So my name is Yoris and welcome to Yoris Invest. Today I'm going to talk about investing 300 Swiss francs in CHDVD every month. That's an ETF that invests in Swiss uh, dividend values. So it's a really good ETF. And currently I have five subscribers. So thank you for that with uh, my new video of last week. I gained uh, three new subscribers, so I'm really happy about that. And if you aren't subscribed yet, please hit that uh, subscribe button down below so that I can keep uh, yeah, keep up the good work and giving you new videos every week. So CHDVD, besides CHSPI, that's the iShares Core SPI ETF, CHD VD is one of the best ETFs to invest into Swiss dividend stocks. One of the advantages is of course that you invest Swiss francs and you receive Swiss francs as dividend and that's the case for both ETFs that I mention here. But my personal preference goes out to the CHD VD ETF and this one is called in fact the iShare Swiss dividend. ETF. It's the easing code is CH0237935637. So that's always handy to know. And it invests in the SPI Select Dividend 20. And I will go over that in uh, in a second when I go to the six uh, website and also the just ETF website. The total expense ratio is 0.15%, so that's really low and lower than, than uh, the ETF where I'm currently investing monthly into and that's uh, the SDGPEX, so a total expense ratio of 0.15 is uh, really nice. And what I'm going to do as at the last uh, bit of my uh, video here is uh, giving a backtesting in Excel when uh, I invest 300, when I should, I would have invested uh, 300 Swiss franc every month since 2016. So when we look at the six websites and you go to the ETF Explorer and you give in CHDVD and CHSPI and you click search you get the link to the both ETFs and then I will go to the iShares Core SPI ETF first so fun details you will see here the dividends it's more or less the same dates that uh, that we will see for the iShares Swiss Dividend ETF. So it's uh, giving dividends in uh, March, then in April, and then in uh, July. So it's it's a nice uh, ETF. It gives more or less the same um, percentage of. Um, dividend each year it's more or less three and a half percent four percent almost so that's really nice uh, when you when you look at it and this one it follows the SPI Swiss performance index and it only has a management fee of uh, 0 0.10 percent and what's the main difference in fact it's the the uh, the amount of uh, positions that it has 209 I still need to uh, change it into English but uh, yeah it's it's not immediately uh, visible where I need to change it now so it's in in German so excuse me for that the amount that is invested in this uh, fund is a bit higher than uh, a bit yeah uh, half a uh, half a billion higher than uh, in in the CHDVD ETF 
and the total expense ratio is only 0.10%, so in fact that's a bit better. But the replication, it's the sampling kind, so it's still okay, sampling is, is much better than uh, Schwab and, and stuff, so that's uh, not a problem. And then, yeah, you can see the Größe 10, the, the biggest 10 positions, Nestle, Novartis, Roche, you, you will see those again. But why I don't like this one as much as uh, the other the other one is here you have the distribution is, is like this. So 34, 22, 14 in finance, Leistung, industry, 10% more or less. Grunsch so um, uh, Grundstoffe 6.7%. So it's not that well distributed. So when we go to the iShares with the dividend ETF, now it's uh, 140.60 right now. When you go to the fund details, the valor number is uh, really important. Just like uh, I mentioned last week, you always need to know that number for your uh, filling in your tax returns here in Switzerland. The easing code, I already mentioned it uh, on my slide. And then the dividends. So more or less the same dates as uh, for the core SPI ETF. But it's three times in March. It used to be less, but uh, I'm not going to go into detail for that right now. Two times in uh, April, one time in May. But it's only for the, the past two years that it, it happens. So in uh, 2021 and before it wasn't the case that we had uh, a dividend in, in May. But uh, so, yeah, uh, one, one, uh, one dividend more in a year is of course always nice. And then on the 18th of uh, July, we received two dividends. But um, yeah, I calculated them always together. So when there are two dividends on the same day, although I think perhaps it, it has something to do with uh, the tax that, that is uh, uh, taken from, from the dividend. So in Switzerland, the tax is unfortunately zero, uh, uh, 35%. So you lose quite a bit of your dividends so when you want to achieve fire so financial independence retire early then you need to take in that into account that's not my goal my goal is uh, to to have a good retirement later on so i don't want to return re retire early that's uh, that's not that important because i love uh, working and i love my work so, but that's that's something uh, that you need to know when I go into the backtesting on the Excel sheet, and yeah, on the just ETF website. So you see, it it only invests in twenty stocks. It has uh, one point eight billion in uh, in investments. In, into the stock market and it replicates the SPI um, select dividend 20 completely so for for everything that you in uh, for every Swiss franc you invest in it you will copy completely the SPI select dividend 20 the expense ratio 0.15% so really good and yeah it, that is that one is lagging so it's uh, 140.60 right now and then you can you can see the the components the first 10 so actually it's more or less the same Nestle Novartis Zurich Roche UBS isn't in it, so in this one you could see UBS, but UBS doesn't give its um, dividends in 
Swiss francs but in uh, dollars so I think that's why they don't uh, have it in here um, but for the rest it's it's a really good um, div diversification that you you have you invest in the best 20 stocks of uh, of of the Swiss stock market that have a high dividend return so I rather have this than investing in an ETF that has the same 20 except then UBS but includes 189 stocks more just because they can but you don't know whether or not they are going to be as successful as the other 20 that that are the main components of, of uh, the ETF so I I'm I rather be safe and invest in the best 20 stocks uh, the best 20 companies and not have to worry about the 180 or a, a bit more that uh, can underperform maybe and then uh, you risk uh, losing a lot so for example uh, Credit Suisse it was one of the the stocks that was in the iShares Core SPI it isn't any longer of course because UBS took uh, took it over but uh, it wasn't present in the iShares Swiss dividend top 20 so yeah that's that's uh, one of the reasons why I like the CH DVD more than uh, than the other one also the finance dienst it's it's a bit a bit less so that that's uh, also better and then when you look at uh, the return it's it's more or less the same so this year it's struggling but when you look at it uh, 3 years from now 5 years from now it it has a really good it had a really good uh, performance and the actual actual um, dividend percentage it's uh, 2.95 so more or less 3% it's it's a bit more because uh, I don't I don't know why I, it's uh, they, they say 2.89 but uh, when you look at when you invest in it m from a longer perspective you will see that actually no, now we are more or less around four percent so you can also look at uh, the the total 20 components of the index so they those are uh, mentioned on the six uh, website under the swiss indices strategy indices and then you can go and select the SPY select dividend uh, 20 and there you can click on the index components and enlarge that tab and then you have all the components of, uh, of uh, the index and I like all the companies uh, on this page except maybe Givaudan that's that's uh, for me it's overvaluated like hell but uh, yeah what what you are going to do about it it's uh, you have to take it like it is but for me this this one should should be noted more or less around 2100 uh, Swiss francs so it's overvalued according to me with more than 800 francs but okay I still like uh, this ETF and what if I shouldn't have started investing in uh, the SDGPEX ETF but in the CHDVD ETF and so starting with uh, saving 300 francs every month and then after three months investing 900 Swiss francs in one go at uh, the Swiss quote uh, broker so I take Swiss quotes because it's an average broker you have cheaper ones you have more expensive ones certainly don't go for the more expensive ones 
the cheaper ones like uh, Yup or Flow Trader or a uh, Flow Bank or or whatever. Those they have their advantages in being cheaper, but they also have their disadvantages in being not that safe for me. So I like Swiss Gold more than than the other traders just because, yeah. You you have uh, you have the reputation of of uh, Swiss Gold, and you have the the bank guarantee and stuff. So I like that more. Trading two one two. It's the cheapest one on the market, but you have big disadvantages on on that one as well. So I I will always talk about Swiss quotes, and when you want to go cheaper, that's on you. But as I say and pinpoint on my slides all the time, I'm not a financial advisor. It's not financial advice that I give. I just uh, say what I do. And although this is uh, virtual, so the other one that I showed last week of the SDGPEX uh, ETF, that's what I really invest. This one is just uh, pro forma. But um, yeah, it, it gives a better ID than uh, all the other videos that you can see on YouTube with, uh, um, yeah, dividend calculators and stuff. Those are pure pure theoretical and i don't like that because that's not always correct the when you invest in the first year and the stock market plummets for 15 20 percent you will not have the same results as uh, the one that you calculated theoretically so here we have the downfall in 2018 we have the downfall in 2020 because of uh, COVID. Then we have the rise and now we have the, the fall again because of the war in Ukraine. And of course, the last few, uh, the, the last week, uh, we have the, the war in uh, Israel and Palestine. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's always better to, to test with actual values so I I put a lot of time in it so every month every three months I investing 900 fictive Swiss francs into the market keeping enough money so that we can uh, pay the the quarterly costs on Swiss quote and reinvesting then all the dividends that we receive over time and still up, up, upholding the the requirement of always being able to to pay the the the, the fee at the end of of the the quarter and when we invest the 900 francs we immediately um yeah take that into account although for example um, when when we invest in uh, in April of that uh, of that month I kept open uh, a certain amount so that I could pay the 16.16 I didn't calculate I didn't uh, take into account that I would receive two dividends later that month which could also at the end of uh, June could pay for the the 16.16 francs that I needed to pay that that uh, month. So that's what I did for the SDGPX, and I also did the same for this virtual uh, wallet. So as you can see, in the beginning it starts slow, and you can add nine eight nine eight. A uh, while later. It's, it's still around 105.9 and with the dividends uh, that, that we received you could um, s uh, buy 10 stocks that's the highest amount of uh, ETFs that I could buy with one, with one uh, go so when you look at it, it, it it's a slow, slow build so it always goes up a bit and yeah in july the the 
dividend that you receive isn't always that high in 2020 it was uh, higher that that was a nice one but then uh, i think here it was a lower one again so then you see it dropping from the one in uh, that we received in april and what i did as well is after one year i estimated when you look at uh, the formula here you see that i estimated on the hand of the the past dividends and the current dividend how much we will receive for the future for the amount of stocks that we have on that time so on after one year so when we started in april 2016 the after one year on the 31st of march 2017 we would receive yearly uh, 125.8 Swiss francs every year and when you take into account that we invested then four times already 900 francs so 3600 francs that's not that bad so that means that we received 10.75 francs for every 300 francs that we invested and as you know from the video where I say that uh, the rule of 300 that it's the aim that we gain for every 300 francs that we invest a franc for each month in dividend then the aim is to have here a value of 12 or higher because then we know that for every 300 francs that we invested into the the ETF that we receive one franc dividend each month so that happened a few times so it happened in 2018 in April and May and in 2020 it happened one time in April and in 2021 because of, because then uh, the market uh, fell a bit uh, it happened again and now we are there again so because the the stock price went down a bit and we could average out uh, our average isn't that high so we are still uh, noted a bit higher than the average but still because of the high dividends that we received here 0 0.66 we went up again and went above the, the 12. So how is it going in um, visually? So this is the amount that we invest monthly. So after almost eight years, we, we invested uh, 27,900 Swiss francs, but in value, this represented together with the reinvested uh, dividends of course this uh, represented 34698 francs currently we are we are more or less around um, 33345 so it dropped a bit again but as long as we are more or less above it and those two numbers are positive I'm happy on the SDGPX uh, when you go back to the video of last week you will see that the trading price uh, gain loss is uh, is negative so on the basis of of the current price of SDGPX uh, we are there uh, trading with the loss right now but uh, on the total gain loss we are still positive there and that one is the most important one when we are up here it's of course better but in the long run it's always uh, with monthly cost averaging and in this case three three monthly cost averaging because yeah it has to do with the costs you know in swiss quotes you always pay nine francs 85 for swiss uh, etfs 
then you have uh, two two francs uh, tax duty and then uh, uh, stamp duty and then you have another uh, tax duty so yeah it's 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 uh, it runs up and when you buy every month for 300 francs your cost will be even higher than what I have now so that's why I group three months together to, to buy every uh, three months at the beginning of the quarter so when you look at the dividends so they are going up slowly and of course you see here that's always the date that they pay the highest dividends so in in April beginning around the beginning of April they, they pay, pay the highest dividend amount so that spikes of course but then when you go look at the yearly dividends that are estimated you see that in the beginning it was 125 a year later we are plus minus around 344 another year later when you look at here it's uh, almost 400 another year later it's 500 another year later we are around 729 another year later so I need to go here plus and plus minus that's uh, 900 francs then we are here it's 950 I know I have to look at here it's more or less thousand so it goes up slowly but you will see over time if you keep it up it will go up and up and up and I will keep following in this and show it to you I will try to make the same for the core SPI um, ETF so that we can compare if that one performed better than uh, than this one because I'm I'm also interesting to know it of course because this one is a ETF that I would like to invest uh, money for for my kids into so that's why I also take a lot of time and, and put a lot of time in it and a thing that I still need to do in these files is of course when when we have uh, ETFs that go from Swiss francs to to euro or to uh, US dollar that I have somewhere also uh, another uh, yeah that I recalculate this one into Swiss francs so that I can really follow everything up correctly because yeah going from Swiss francs to two dollars and then count everything up here that are actually dollars and count it as Swiss francs that's not uh, that would not be correct so for those ETFs I, I need to make uh, adjustments but that's something for the next videos so I hope you enjoyed this one and yeah if you want to follow more about uh, investing in dividends stocks and dividend ETFs from the Swiss uh, market and European market you're always welcome here on my videos, I my my YouTube channel. So thank you for watching and see you next time on my YouTube channel. Bye.